Hello Pisces, welcome, thank you for being here. This is your mid-month reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. It is going to be a little bit different uh, from the weeklies. I use the Celtic Cross spread for this one. I'm just going to look at first the overall energies, what's going on, what do you need uh, to know here, and then at your love life, and then money uh, or finances, career and status here. So a little bit of everything at the end, we will bring uh, all of this together. Now, um, I uh, looked at the Astro Dices here and what came for you is Gemini. Now for some of you, or you're dealing with Gemini or Gemini is strong in your chart, but also astrologically, uh, Mars and Jupiter are in Gemini and they are squaring your uh, placement. So you might be feeling some type of changes here. We will see how the cards are coming together, but just wanted uh, to let you know that came out. 11th house, dreams, possibilities, friends, networking are going to be important for you guys as well. The seventh house, which has to do with partnership, connection, one-on-one -on -one connection, business, romantic, marriage, contract, is what's going on here as well. And of course, Jupiter came in. That's why I say Jupiter in Gemini is um, overemphasizing abundance, wealth. It is your ruler as well in this case. So expect some type of expansion. Uh, it might be, again, that whoever is coming in your life is going to be beneficial. And Libra, the south node is in Libra. For some of you, are you dealing with Libra or, depending again on your chart, that area of your life is being activated, but marriage, commitment, and contracts are important. All right, so that was from the Astro Dices that came out for you guys. All right, Pisces, what does the universe want you to know for mid-month? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. What is going on? What does Pisces need to know? Pisces placements or if you have the Piscean signature. What does it mean to have a Piscean signature when you have a lot of water in your chart and you have a lot of mutable signs? For those that just uh, need to know. So mutable signs are Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius and Virgo. If you have those or and you have a lot of water, you might have a Pisces signature. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. Or Pisces signature, please. One more. The Three of Pentacles and Two of Swords. That some type of agreement needs to happen here. There's been a lot of, you know, kind of stalemate position here. Moon in Libra. <laughs> Moon in Libra here. And the Three of Pentacles. So someone is waiting come together here to make an agreement to work something out waiting for the right timing those two clash a little bit together it's like they cannot see eye to eye the king of wands is coming in you guys have had the king of wands a few times as well I, again this is the performer this is someone here that is bringing the show but most than anything again passionate uh, a motivator charismatic i don't know yet A lot uh, of fire now. Yep, it's like that King of Wands has been thinking <laughs> to open an act. I feel like this is such a deja vu with you guys. Some type of messages, uh, of course, here. It's coming from that King of Wands. Let's see, though. The Magician, you, Virgo, get the Magician. Gemini gets the Magician a lot as well. Um, that's why I, I like I feel like I'm repeating sometimes the readings, I swear. Sometimes it feels like the same. Um, because that King of Wands and the Page of Wands, definitely it feels like something here is being created. Um, this is a very uh, kind of cerebral. Uh, can, I can make miracles here. I can make things happen. Um, there's this enthusiasm that is coming in. All the elements are here. So something is starting. This is also when I look at this seduction of the mind, creating here um, a situation again that King of Wands feels like I can make this happen. I'm a true magician. I'm a, a true performer here. I, I anything I set my mind, I will do it. All right, 
definitely I'm getting strong Leo energy or again someone here that needs to be seen in the best light is coming here with something I don't know if it's like creating this image if you look at the magician and the six of wands someone is creating this glory or this victory um, to come together here is putting on a show even with the six of wands like a spell all right there's the Gemini energy how interesting someone is so worried about how they're coming forward is this going to be successful is this going to be recognized so yeah the magician is trying to create something here that seems like again or, or this is you I feel like it's from that king of wands the word is coming because again it's very important for whatever has to be created the mind here cannot be afraid cannot um, go through this anxiety the sleepless night or worry that's a lot here uh, confidence is important winning is important uh, with the magician and that's why he's coming first because again it's like look at for some of you and i don't know this is just you know um a kind of giving you some type of comparison doesn't mean that you're dealing with this but look at uh, if you have something important here what person or situation the next day an event and you have, you know, to kind of think of every way, whatever you have to create here to win. But you, you've been worried a, a lot, anxious about, you know, what you're going to say. Um, how is this going to be um, accepted kind of a situation? That's what I feel like the Nine of Swords with these two energies. And we have right now uh, fire and air, which these two fuel each other. So the, the elements are strong. There's no contradiction here. Something will happen no matter what. The anxiety, again, someone feels like one, once I am at that position, at the stage here, or again, I'm giving examples, but someone feels like, okay, I need to, to complete this. And no matter what, I'm going to overcome the anxiety, the worry. Like if I'm already up front here, I'm going to make things happen. But that's what I feel like that energy is. The nine, nine, nine. Oh my goodness. The Nine of Wands is, uh, by the way, I said mutables, guys. I mentioned mutables and we have uh, Moon in Sagittarius, by the way. So this is the card of resiliency. That's why I said someone is not going to show here. Yeah, there's a lot of worry, but there's been preparation. There's been optimism. It's like someone is looking and preparing for these boom type of situations here out of the blue out of nowhere mars which i mentioned again mars is in gemini you guys are going to feel it for some of you depending on your chart here you feel you don't feel comfortable because again it's creating a little bit of tension and strife and struggle but i feel like you're looking good it's like i have to go towards it how i'm going to handle this will i get the recognition what will come out of this situation surprises the nine of wands is preparing here for this big um i feel like with the tower it's coming as some type of shake up some type of revelations something here uh, has to come out with the magician and the tower two major arcanas so that's the worry there is a lot here that um that needs to be brought for some of you when it comes to career when it comes to a person uh how is this going to be interpreted what is going to happen in the end, though, when the tower comes in, no matter how much prepared we are, is going to be um, still a shakeup. I feel like someone, or you're going to surprise someone, or someone will, will surprise you. Um, maybe that's the fear of that nine of wands. What if everything, you know, crumbles here? It's like the tower. Being at the end here brings unforeseen things. Though the Nine of Wands is looking from afar and preparing, the universe wants you to know that you can think and you can prepare all you want. But if a change is coming in, it feels like maybe a blessing in disguise. Let me see. What is this tower is going to happen? One more. Okay, guys, I remember we had the Two of Swords before. Yep, the Jupiter and Gemini 
I feel like again astrological um, aspects here that are happening are big for for Pisces I've said this to uh, Virgo the mutables right now are feeling it but again remember this is a period of massive growth for you guys it's pushing you to maybe again new ventures new ideas you you're supposed to do something great here with the six of wands whatever it is here that leadership position here skills talents whatever even a person it feels like something we have the four of cups which can maintain this kind of emotional situation here or just settling for something and an, a, another moon 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 feelings home situations here are very important so with the moon and mars by the way there's going to be like this between the will between this assertion this um i feel like actions and when it comes to feelings and we maintaining certain closure here especially again attachment with the moon um it feels like something that you have maintained or you felt like a stalemate what's going to happen finally is coming in i am getting a blessing in disguise like maybe again this is the time this is the time for things to come into change here but um something that has been a kind of a settling and indecision finally is coming um, out here it cannot be contained the, remember the tower comes at a time where we keep building on a situation because we are afraid because we want to maintain because it's like okay the pressure the pressure the pressure and then it's like you cannot con uh, not make a decision you cannot just play it emotionally safe uh, safely here or just looking at what, whatever feels luxurious this is finally things are coming out because again it feels like something here that you have manifested that you want that you have the skills you have the right tools here the capabilities but you worry you worry maybe not enough or not you know guarded or what's gonna happen it's finally is like i feel like uh, it's pushing you or this change is coming in so yes yeah, something uh or unexpectedly or the universe here is telling you you're great at something you have been thinking about it all this time now it's time to act so what is coming in when it comes to your love life Someone also may be like thinking, admiring you, want you, wanting you, thinking about you a lot from afar, but afraid here. So you might be surprised that you have or a secret crush or someone that constantly thinks about you, but is afraid. And it feels like this person is like, I cannot hold this anymore. What's going on? What is coming in? What does Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars needs to know regarding their love life? One more. The world and the justice. Wow. Something is coming in. Uh, I feel like it's good karma, by the way. Accomplishment. Some of you closed a karmic uh, cycle. Someone is waiting for the right time to come towards you as well. Closure, completion, achievement. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars when it comes to their love life. Yep, it feels like now there's a new beginning. Wow. Free yourself. Yeah, definitely the devil coming in here. I don't know if you feel like something is forbidden or holds you back, but freeing yourself from a situation of attachment or someone wants here to finally act on that lust or desire, the death card. Okay, definitely. I'm, I feel like you guys really completed something here. I'm going to get all the cards. Scorpio is strong here. By the way, the moon, the moon feels like very strong for you guys. There's the nine of swords again and the three of swords. Okay, definitely I feel like you guys are dealing with a lot of um, closing cycles when it comes to your love life. And I feel like you guys have had this before. The three of swords keeps coming for you, by the way. I know that most of you are feeling like or you are stuck in a situation that you don't want to be anymore or you feel torn. Libra. And this is Saturn in Libra. It again it deals a lot here when it comes to contract when it comes to partnership when it comes to marriage the death card tells me that you completely have gone through these changes or again you're going to go 
if we're going to look at the future here you're going to go through these changes the six of cups though i feel like you're going to find yourself or again this is a change because the six of cups is coming as someone you know familiar your soulmate it seems like there's such a strong past connection here even with the death card which we feel like we completely changing in in the end we transform we just transform here um but it feels like whatever is this death card scorpio scorpio here it's bringing or truly here what you always wanted a familiar type of um connection your dreams here for some of you even you know when when you were younger it it like something beautiful is unfolding here and uh this might be also that there's that nostalgia that you feel like you have that hunger for true connection for someone that understands your soul that's what it feels like if i'm going to look but you're worried because again or there's some type of other situations here or you're worried that as you kind of unfolding whatever is going on here again opening up going towards maybe for some of you towards a person and if this is not you you're saying oh this is not me this might be the person that is um coming towards you if that is the case this person still has memories they feel like maybe you it's over maybe you know you forgot them you moved on but they still dream about you they're still especially this is very nightmarish like they cannot stop the hunger and the desire and they feel heartbroken but for others again i'm, I'm looking here at many of you um collectively i feel like again there's a fear because you feel like change is coming situation has uh to hand certain situations here and how do you go towards again or something or someone that you feel like truly brings the best in you six and six by the way leo scorpio energy here that is coming in whatever that is again the moon it's interesting that it car carries that torch because here we have the moon and here we have also the fire i feel like whatever these emotions now are being there's this hidden hunger this hidden desire here that needs to come out that keeps like someone keeps thinking of it when it comes to especially um this is a mars moon and mars i'm telling you uh, in Gemini energy, the overthinking here when it comes to uh, emotions, when it comes to the subconscious, when it comes to this hidden desire and hunger, sleepless night over this situation. I can stop this. I'm heartbroken. How is this going to lead? It's like someone really misses you, feels like things have to change, but also again, it's coming with this uh, nostalgia. It's coming with this happiness, known joy. There's a soulmate here. But a lot of suffering and a lot of hidden situation like look how the the moon is falling definitely this is someone that cannot sleep at night cannot stop their brain here and uh, with the two of swords again and the three of swords as i mentioned no matter what you can feel like i'm going i'm not going to make a decision but then at the end we have to deal with the three of swords we have to deal with the pain because again we have to decide we have to decide where our heart wants to go but yeah, it feels like um, someone is going through a lot of sleepless night and anxiety, um, hidden hunger uh, as well, and feeling torn and hurt. Let me ask here, actually. What is this Three of Swords, please? What is the Three of Swords? Oh my God, yep it is a decision look no matter what someone feels like i cannot like there's happiness here with this person and they feel torn that they cannot choose or go and i'm saying this person because i don't know if it's this he or she or whoever is coming towards you or this is your energy uh, but i feel like again for some of you i feel like someone that is coming in <clears throat> mars again that wants to make a decision to something better but to make this decision to something better to come here with some type of look purging the full moon effect the passion means that there there need to be or some separation here or some endings someone may be going also through endings here and still is looking at you um, as that person all right so finances status career what is going on with pisces please what is going on with pisces Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars.
one more. What is going on? What does Pisces needs to know? Finances, career, status. All right, a new opportunity. Very abundant, creative too, emotional. Wow, two new beginnings and the, the initiation. All right, I want to, to get all the cards because I'm getting excited here. There's a lot of good things, <laughs> the magician. That's why for some of you, I feel like you are, uh, or has started a new job or, or a new work uh, or you know some type of um, creative situations here. Now, status-wise, I feel like you guys are uh, feeling that there's going to be marriage and commitment here. Um, Money-wise, uh, I feel like you are, have the first taste of success. I'm getting like a lawyer, mentor, counselor, uh, spiritual energy between the high uh, priest and the high priestess. Uh, very Aquarius energy for some of you as well. Um, but man, these are beautiful energies. Um, I feel like for some of you mostly is status wise that um, you will feel like you're going towards accomplishment, success. And you've been manifesting this. For some of you, you may be working with another person. There's a lot of guidance and there's a lot of renewal and a lot of hope that is coming in. It's such an interesting um, combination here that I'm getting, by the way. I'm looking at this all together. This King of Swords uh, seems like an advisor. I, I am getting, I feel like for some of you, this is just the marriage commitment um, that is changing. Um, for others, again, I feel like you're, uh, you're following something spiritual here. Guidance, your true calling that is coming in. This feels to me like a, um, a person here that truly is like an advisor. I'm getting here someone is uh, a mentor. That's what's coming in. It may be about contract, it may be about finances, it may be about teaching here. Uh, again, this person may be kind of your guidance or you towards them. But for some of you, uh, something spiritual is coming in or a true calling. You're finally finding your calling here. And you look at yourself with new abilities, new ways. You're opening the door to so many possibilities. That's what I'm getting here. But for some of you are very good uh, at what you do. You can, um, I feel like publishing. Uh, mentor, teacher is coming in here um, for some of you. Esoteric energy as well, but um, you're going to find guidance and for some of you, a new calling um, that you're starting and you'll feel very successful. I truly hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.